Okay, next we're gonna do the side panel of the golf car. So we already have the center under the seat that's been installed and we've rewiped, making sure that we go beyond uh, what's already been installed. You can do multiple wipes, that's very important. Make sure it's nice and clean. So the first thing you're gonna do when you get a multi-sheet kit like this one that has a center under the seat, there's a left side, a right side, a front cowl center, etc. You want to um, do about a one inch overlap uh, on the sheet. And that's where the sheets uh, go in front of each other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our one inch overlap And once we have that, you're okay over there on the back? Yep. Okay. So we're just going to lightly tack this side. And we're going to be careful to keep it in the air. We're going to switch places. So we've got it tacked in place just in the front there, which is going to allow us. So we've got our sheet. So what we want to do now is we're going to warm the panel. And of course the heat gun works the best for this. And it could take just a little bit to get it nice and warm. because our goal when we get the panel warm enough is to do one fluid motion uh, over the top and around the corner. And then we can come back to the side there. And sometimes it might take multiple heats in order to do this. This is a pretty big surface. Uh, three people would be helpful if you had it. Okay. So Kelly's going to pull up and down and I'm going to pull front to back. And we're going to do one fluid motion. She's going over. tack on the wheel well line just to give yourself some some tack there okay right to there so warming the film is the key to getting the material to conform over the top and around the back as you go. Almost got it. So you get it nice and warm and then it's going to be one fluid motion. Over the top. And of course again we like we said it's going to take multiple tries. When you get into a, uh, an area here between the fender flare and the side of the body, you've got an air pocket. So you always want to make sure that you leave a channel that you can release the air out of. So for here, we're going to go towards the front. And we're squeegeeing just above the wheel well in this crease of the body. But we've left the channel open so your air is escaping toward the front of the car. And we'll come back and get the rest of that. You can see it's all laid over nice and smooth all the way over the top here. And like we said, it takes multiple, multiple times to get it up and around. So on this one, we're going to concentrate in the back here. I'm going to do a relief cut. I'm going to do a relief cut. Uh, make sure you're beyond the fender well. And this will help relieve some of that film as we come around the corner and go the rest of the way over the top. So we're pulling the film up. 
We're going to take our time to get it nice and warm again because the heat is what's going to help us do this in one fluid motion. You'll notice as you heat the film, it'll return back to its original state. So if you get a wrinkle in the film, don't panic. Just put some heat on it and you'll notice that it goes right back to flat. And remember too, you're only trying to get the rest of this film down into that uh, well where the bag well is. That's as far as you need to go. So the film is nice and warm. We're going to do one fluid motion. Let me tighten the bottom here. Keep the bottom tight. A little bit more. Okay. So again, you try to do it in one fluid motion. work the film again in one one direction one motion you can come back and tighten up this area here um, but you can see by doing it that way that we can keep the film nice and flat uh, on your surface And of course, the film being repositionable, you can pick it up and continue to, to position it. So we've got just a little bit on this corner. Right there. So we're going to warm the on. Easy. Stretch and pull. We're all the way up and, and around. We've got this little bit here. So you can see, you know, it's taken multiple attempts as you work your way around that surface. I'm going to warm this up here. Pull it tight, lay it down. That's, that's the key to your successful install without any wrinkles. Get the film tight, set it on the surface, and then squeegee it. Go ahead. So, if you get any air bubbles, you can even take your finger, put it on the top of the bubble, and just rub it right out or you can use your squeegee. And of course, once you get it all on, you're going to go back over the whole thing with heat and make sure that you post heat really good. Get it nice and warm. Manufacturer recommends between uh, 225 and 185 degrees. Uh, not for a long time, just wavering it over, setting that film to take its final permanent bond. And we're going to come back to the the front side over here and continue on. Basically pulling the film tight. And working it into position. We've got that, our air channel up top there, so we'll warm that. Just keep that film nice and tight, and that'll help.
here's a good place where you can use your wrap glove. Just warm it, push it straight down into position. So we've got a little channel on this golf car. A lot of times what you can do is take your heat, warm the body, take the pointed part of your squeegee, and just warm it and work it down into that point. That'll give you a nice edge. up over the top, warm in the film so that we can tuck it up and over and work it just down over enough to um, get beyond where the seat is. So what we'll do is um, from here we'll do some final fitting and then show you the finished result and maybe a little bit on trimming.